Hey guys, Tom here, lead engineer behind the Panelskin platform, and I'm here today to talk about our improved moderation process and new auto-align tool. Now, before I begin, I'd like to touch on the preview pane. Uh, previously, this was a static equirectangular image, but based off of some of your feedback, we've changed this out into a 360 image instead. Uh, and what our team's found is being able to view these scenes in 360 has made it a little bit easier to find the next scene that you want to connect to. So once you've found the scene that you'd like, to, you'd like to start with, what you want to do is you want to just click the plus icon here. And what that does is it drops your scene down to, onto the staging area. And it also adds a constellation onto the map. Now, it's important to, 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 to mention, as I did in my previous videos, that any scenes that are here to the left will be published to Street View. Consequently, those scenes have a constellation here on the map. And any scenes here on the right are scenes that you, you can work with but will not be posted to Street View unless you've added them to the constellation map. So once I've added my first scene, uh, one of the first things that we recommend doing is setting a north for, for, your, for your start scene. Now, if I press the compass here, what it'll do is it'll navigate my viewer to where north is for that scene. Equally, if I were to press N on my keyboard, it'll take me to where north is currently set for this first scene image. Well, what if I didn't want north to be this wall here? What I would do is I would just navigate my scene to where I think north should be and align where I want north with the green line going through the center and then click set north. At that point, if I click the compass here, you'll see that it'll take me to that point where to the new north that I just set. Now, it's important to note that you only have to do this once. From, from, our, from our support tickets, we've realized that a lot, a lot of you are actually setting north for every single scene that you're adding. Uh, although you can do that, uh, we don't recommend it, and it does, it does add time to the moderation process. So we recommend against it. You should really only set the north for your first starting scene. Now that we've added our first scene, you may have noticed that panels can automatically select the next preview scene for me. And as I pan around the main viewer, it also pans around the scene within the preview. Now, Panelskin doesn't always get this correct. And if not, then you can just click through into the other scenes to see if they make sense. But in this instance, the scene that I just, that Panelskin selected for me was correct. So as a next step, I navigate my scene to where I'd like for my next arrow to be. And once I'm happy, I click the plus icon. Now, you may have noticed that panels can automatically align the two scenes for me. And as with, with previous, the previously, I can use the opacity tool to see if the walkthrough looks good and makes sense. Before I get into the auto line tool and its different controls, it may be worth mentioning on how it works. So with the auto align tool, panels can take a look at the current scene and the next scene that you're about to add and it tries to detect different objects within the scene. It then does a computational analysis to determine on how to best align the two scenes. So, that being said, when panels can detect the different objects within the scenes, it can do so at different thresholds. And that's what this slider here is. If you slide it to the left, you're telling Panelskin that the threshold for what's an object within the scene is pretty high, and it makes the computational analysis pretty fast. But if you slide it all the way to the right, you're telling Panelskin that you want the analysis to be more precise and the threshold for what is an object to be smaller. Think of it like the selection tool in some of the image editing software out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide this back to, to the default setting and click plus to add my next scene. As you can tell, I'm happy with the alignment, so I click add. And then I move on to my next scene. Now, one other quick tip before I add my next scene. If you take a look at the next scene, I may not know where I want to place my arrow. So what we recommend doing 
is actually taking a look to see where the tripod was. And as you can see, the tripod was in front of this couch. So what I'll do now is I'll just move my green line to where that tripod was, and I'll click plus. Now, one other thing worth mentioning uh, is the F key on your keyboard. When you press F, it flips the scene around. And if you're not happy with the return arrow, what we should really do is just move, move, navigate the scene so where the green line is where you'd want the arrow to be. And then using the, con the rotate tool on the constellation, just start rotating that current scene until the arrow is, is where the green line is. Once you're happy, you let go. So we'll do one more scene here. And in this instance, when I click F, the return arrow doesn't look good to me. So I just navigate the green line to where I want it to be, and then adjust the arrow using the rotate tool. Now, a few quick tips. The auto align tool is really meant to help you. However, it's not always correct. And in those instances, at the very least, it should be pointing you in the appropriate direction. But if you find the auto align tool is more of a nuisance than of help, then you can always deselect the tool and it will not be used throughout your moderation process. We do recommend leaving the tool on though, and leaving the default setting for the threshold. Now, as another quick tip, although it's a best practice to set north on your first scene, you don't always have to do that. You can always change the north on your entire constellation when it's done. To do that, what you'll want to do is you'll first want to lock your entire constellation. To lock your constellation, you can either click the lock icon within the constellation map, or you can press L on your keyboard. What that does is it locks your entire constellation. Now if I were to click the north compass here, you can tell that the north is facing this window here, because that's the direction that I set it to in my original first scene. Well, what if I wanted my north to be facing the bathroom. Well, what I would do is I would navigate the green line, the center green line, to where I want north facing. And when my entire constellation is locked, I would drag the entire constellation and rotate it to where the active scene is facing north. And then I let go of my constellation. And as you can tell, it adjusted north for all the scenes. So I were to go back into this living room here and click the north compass or press N on my keyboard, you would see it's now facing the doorway instead. Now once you've mastered all the tooling, you should be able to moderate pretty quickly. And just to show you, I'm going to run through the moderation process one more time.
Now, as you can tell, the auto line tool wasn't always 100% correct. This is because the algorithm uses computer vision and machine learning when detecting objects between the two scenes and trying to align them. So when entering into new rooms or going through hallways where there's not a lot of shared objects, the auto alignment may not always be 100% correct. However, the auto align tool is there to assist you and at the very least point you in the correct direction. And as you could tell, I was able to moderate two model units with a total of 13 scenes in under two minutes. If you would like for the auto align tool to be more precise, then if your camera allows it, we do recommend having GPS enabled. What this does is it also passes on compass information for your scenes as you shoot them. And with orientation information, panels can, can make better informed decisions on when, allow, when aligning your scenes. One last thing that I'd like to mention is that we've made a lot of improvements to our constellations. To take a look at some of the changes we've made, you can either press the H key on your keyboard or click on this help icon. And what that'll do is open up a help menu that talks about constellations, connecting islands, our selection tool, and all of our hotkeys. Now, I won't go into depth within this video on all those functions, but please stay tuned for another video on moderation process in our updated constellations. Thank you and take care.